Okay, um, I haven't made a video in a while. I've been extremely just busy with a lot of other things that I've been doing. Say hello to my daughter's bunny, so cute. He's gonna sit right there. Today, actually, something so, so funny happened. I was calling somebody about um, work, concerning work. I was calling somebody concerning work. And what happened was apparently the number that I called was not for the person that I had called. So um, I left my voicemail and I said, hey, just, you know, checking in on you. Um, I hope to hear from you very, very soon. And I hope that you're doing well and you've had a wonderful week. <clears throat> you know, that's the gist of what I said. So I ended up getting a phone call back from this person who was not the person but they told me, they were like, um, hey, I think that you were trying to get in touch with somebody, but I, that wasn't me. But I just wanted to say that the person that you were trying to call was supposed to be me. He said, even though you don't know me, even though you know we have no ties to each other, he said, your message was so very sweet. And he said, your voice was so soothing. And he said, you probably won't get another phone call like this today, but I had to call you back to let you know that what you said really touched my heart. That was what he said. And then he went further on to explain how, you know, he was at his friend's son's grave site. And it was, you know, a little bit of a sad day. You know, it wasn't the best day for him, but... He said that me, what I said, really touched his heart and really spoke to his spirit. And he just said, you know, his, our spirits connected. And, you know, as he was talking to me, um, I wasn't getting like a, I wasn't, you know, getting any bad feelings from him. It was actually nurturing my spirit too, to listen to him. Um, I'm listening to him and he's giving me messages, you know, just giving me messages. And I'm like, okay, yes, I know we were supposed to connect some way, somehow, for some reason. So, as he's talking to me, um, he, t he just tells me, you know, he wants to serve God. You know, he's just telling me how he wants to serve God. Um, and then he's, he's telling me a little bit of details about his life, you know. And I'm listening. And then he says the words I am no secret that's what he said and that spoke to my spirit I told him that I spoke to my spirit his I am no secret because my my whole business you know journey with Jana is living an open honest life you know um not you know <laughs> having no secrets like you know my whole thing is you know here I am um accept me or don't you know what I mean so I am me I'm who I am and anything that's happened in my life is no secret <laughs> okay like I'm not ashamed of anything that's happened in my life because I know the person that I am today and I know the person that I am through and throughout and let me tell you something that man didn't know me you know he said he didn't know me but he just said you know you're a kind person he said, I, I sense that in your voice. And he just said it was, it was you know, what he needed to hear for the day. <laughs> so I kind of, you know, of course that made my day. Like, you know, how great. Thank you for that, sir. That really made my day. He was just sharing things with me that he said, you know, he doesn't, you know, openly share with everybody, but you know, he was sharing these things with me and he, I didn't know him. And I, you know, I was just humbled and, and, um, you never know who you're going to touch. Even if, you know, what you say, like these videos that I do, what I say in these videos, you know, I'm just talking from my experience or I'm just talking, you know, from what happened earlier in my day, you know, usually in these videos, that's what you guys are getting. Um, is the lessons that I'm learning along the way in my daily life uh, of my journey. You know, that's why it's called Journey with Jana, you know. And I wanna do my due diligence in this world by connecting with people that 
I can learn something from and people that can learn something from me, you know, because I really want to be able to give people what their spirit is is wanting you know i want to feed people's spirit you know whether that's through christ through you know a support system through advice through anything you know i want to be there for people to help them through the situations that they're going through so when i hear that you know when i heard that message from a complete stranger you know who doesn't know me or anything and it it related to me on a personal level that's where I have to look at God and I have to say okay yes God what is it I, I'm gonna meditate on this you know I'm gonna read my Bible I'm gonna pray on this and I'm gonna see what he wants me you know to do with that information <clears throat> but sometimes I get a message and I will know exactly what to do you know because it speaks to me um, and other times I get a message and it'd be, I hear the message, it connects with me, but I'm not too sure where I'm going with that message or where that message will lead to. And with that, you know, I just have to pray, read my Bible and meditate on it and really just ask God, you know, personally what it is in my life that I need to work on or, or what it is in my life that pertains to that message um that I need to go in that direction or what so <clears throat> yes I believe in messages I believe in signs and and people who you connect with and I want you guys to always remember that what you say matters who you come in contact with never just you know blow someone off or or you know never just think that something happened mistakenly or accidentally um concerning a matter because there are accidents that happen there are mistakes that happen but god makes no accidents god makes no mistakes and that's what this guy was saying he said you know <clears throat> i really believe <laughs> he was like i think god wanted us to talk and i was just like yeah, I think God might want us to talk to, you know, it's just about what they're also experiencing. Don't, you know, they, they, they gonna get something from you, but you know, you don't even have to talk. <laughs> okay. You don't have to talk. You don't have to give them advice. You don't have to, they might not need anything from you. Okay. A person might not need nothing from you, but, but your the smile on your face okay always remember that a person might not need anything from you but the smile on your face the sweetness in your voice even if you just ask them a simple question you know it's the way you carry yourself it's the way you speak it's the way you approach that person you know what I mean so I have an example you know in this world if you bump into somebody if you go into an establishment you know if you go into a store and something's not right or, or you're taking something back that that was broken or something and you ask to speak to a manager, you know, it, if you're in a restaurant and the wait is way too long and you ask to speak to a manager, you know, it's easy to forget. It's easy to remember your own emotions and to forget another person's emotions in those frustrating moments, you know, <laughs> it's very, very easy. So what I do is I always remember to keep a smile on my face. I, that's what I always remember, especially if it is a stranger, someone that I have never met before, because it's a thing where, you know, maybe I don't remember them, but maybe they remember me. <laughs> you know and also when you do kind things people tend to remember those right when you either do super kind things or when you do super bad things those are usually the things that people remember okay really good really bad so i try to be really good to people when i meet people i try to be really good um i'll tell you an example i went to ihop recently and the wait was extremely long. It was extremely long. But the person that I had went with 
we were talking so much that, you know, it was just conversation that, that was flowing, but also in the back of my mind and back of their mind, they're like, what's taking the food so long? You know? I'm, so I asked, can I please speak to a manager? I asked, is there going to be like, um, maybe a possible discount of any kind? You know, I said it with a smile on my face to the waitress, you know, I didn't want to make her day any worse. I didn't want to make her day, you know, overwhelmed because I could tell, you know, they were understaffed. I could tell that they were they were understaffed. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone quit the, the previous night. You know, it could have been anything, but they were very unprepared for the orders. And it wasn't, you know, many orders to take. So, <clears throat> you know, I was like, just like, what's happening here? <laughs> but I didn't say it like that. You know, I was just like, can we get a discount of some kind? You know, the, the wait's been really long. And and she looked at me, you know, and, and she said, yes, of course, you know, I, I talked to a manager. She didn't give me attitude or anything like that. But um, what happened was she came back and she said, the manager said, you know, everything's free. You, you guys don't have to pay for anything. And I just thought, wow. I thought, wow, thank you so much. And, and I made sure she saw my expression of gratitude. And I made sure to say, thank you so much. I said, you are very, very kind for that. And, and tell your manager that I said thank you to her personally. That's what I said. <laughs> and, you know, she was just so kind, super kind, you know, especially the whole experience of of being there you know her her just being like did you guys want sugar do you guys want anything else do you guys want this you know she really did um interact with us in a friendly manner too so i made sure not to let my frustrations overpower my smile you know what i mean because maybe me being kind to her that day was what she needed to get through the rest of the day because maybe people waiting, you know, for a long period of time before me, maybe they weren't so kind to her. Or maybe she's going to get some somebody later in the day that's not going to be so kind to her. So I make sure that I make it a point to be kind to people because you never know how that changes the course of their day. Okay? Um, you never know who you're going to bump into in this world. Um, I know it was many, many, many days where I didn't feel like myself or I felt just like... I could not do the task that I wanted to do at hand because I was feeling so sad, you know, or, or, or it was a thing where, I don't know, I was just so, so depressed and, and I would go out and every, any little negative experience, I would just break down and cry. You know, I could go try to get my car inspected and they could say, mm, it doesn't pass inspection. <laughs> or I could go to the grocery store and they didn't have exactly what I particularly needed. It could have been something as simple as maybe they ran out of money orders and I just, <laughs> you know, in the car, crying in the car somewhere. So <laughs> make an effort to smile, make an effort to be kind to people, make, make that effort. Okay. Cause I remember when I was in, in that place of mentally just not being equipped to handle the day, of mentally not being prepared to, you know, I have to do all these day to day tasks, but mentally I just was not there. And I remember it being difficult for me um, to, to it, was, it was very difficult for me to accept negative um, negativity. So now I'm in a place where I am adding to people's positivity. You know, I'm adding to people's lives positively. And that helps me in this life to be strong because I know if I get something negative from somebody, I now know that maybe, you know, what they're going through, a lot of people go through things in this world and they turn bitter towards the world. But a lot of people go through things in this world and they are you know they they know what it feels like and they don't want anybody else to experience that that's my story i don't want anybody to experience um negativity that they don't have to go through you know so if somebody's being negative to me i make it a point to be positive to them because i want 
to make sure that people know that they're valued and that they are loved and that they are important and that what they say matters to me and what they do matters to me, you know, and I want them to see the positivity in the things that they do. You know, I don't want to, I don't want, you know, I'm just a kind person. <laughs> I'm just a kind person. So that's my video for today, you guys. I want you guys to look at your success and I want you to stay blessed. And I always say this at the end of every video. I've explained it in previous videos, but I haven't explained it recently. When I say look at your success and stay blessed, what that means is look at all of your past trauma, all of your past drama, you have gotten through it and now you have succeeded that, okay? Your struggle is your success story. That is what Journey with Jama is about. My past struggles is a part of my success story. So I say, look at your success, whether it's bad, ugly, or good, and stay blessed, you guys. <laughs>